Hi guys, it's Ashraf from WizEdu, and today we're going to be going through the solution to Lockdown Challenge 6. If you haven't done so already, please try out the question. The link to our Instagram page where you can find the question is in the description below. So just before we begin our standard disclaimer, all the content we're about to be showing you isn't to be taken seriously, and the scenario we give is purely hypothetical. So just a note, guys, to stay home and keep safe. So let's go on to the question here. I've taken the liberty to highlight all the important information in this question, uh, which is basically the figures and the numbers. In this question, we are told that someone has violated the rules of the lockdown. They've tested positive for COVID-19, but instead of remaining in self-isolation, they have decided to go out shopping. And we have to track this person by means of their cell phone. So how we can do that is using a process called trilateration. Now, trilateration is a process which GPS satellites use to track phones. It's different from triangulation. Triangulation is something that quantity surveyors use, and that involves the use of both lengths and angles, whereas trilateration only involves the use of lengths. So you'll see what that means as we go on when we solve this question. So we told that we have three cell phone towers, one in observatory, one in Narania Zert, and one in Greenpoint. And we are also given the coordinates of each of these towers. And these coordinates are represented in meters. And we, what we are also told is the amount of time it takes a signal or a ping to reach the cell phone from each of these towers. And we also know the speed the signal would travel. So using that information, we should then be able to calculate the distance between the phone and each cell phone tower. So you can see we only have two questions here, question one and two. The third question or the bonus question, I've posted my Python code in the description be below. There's a link to that. And if you're interested, you can go through that yourself. So just to visualize this problem, I'm going to bring up the map of Cape Town I supplied with the question. And I'm just going to put each of the cell phone towers in their respective locations up on this map so we can just see where they are. So there we have the observatory tower. Here we have the tower in Oranjezert. And here we have our tower in Greenpoint. And our cell phone is somewhere in Cape Town, but we don't exactly know where it is. It's somewhere around Cape Town. So our first step, or step one in this question, is going to be to use the times we given um, of the time taken for the signal to reach the cell phone from each of the cell phone towers to calculate the distance between the cell phone and each tower. So we can use one of two equations. We can either say distance equals speed times time, or some of you from physics might be uh, more familiar with the equation. Delta x equals delta v times delta t. These are the same questions. They make use of the same um, we'd input the same variables in there. It's just different notation. So for the observatory cell phone tower, we can say that our distance would be equal to speed times time. And our speed in this case, we've been given as 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And the time we've been given is 2 times 10 to the negative 5 seconds. So if we multiply those two together, we get a distance of 6,000 meters. And we can go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other two cell phone towers. So for Orania Zest, I'm going to just abbreviate that there. It's going to be distance equals speed times time. And that's going to equal the same 3 times 10 to the 8 because the signal will travel at the same speed regardless of which location or which tower uh, we are working with. And that's going to be 1.57 times 10 to the negative 5 seconds, which gives us an answer of 4,710 meters. And finally, green point, I'm just going to abbreviate that as GP. We can perform the same calculation, D equals S times T. And that's going to be 3 times 10 to the 8 times this very long figure here, 5.289807839 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds, and that's then going to give 
3.352 meters. And we have to use this full figure because we've been asked to use full figures throughout our calculations. Okay. So for our next step in this question, I'm going to bring up this map here and we're going to try to visualize the problem in order to develop an approach to solve it. So what we've basically done is we've calculated the distances between each cell phone tower and the cell phone. So between observatory and the cell phone, we have a distance of 6,000 meters. Between Orania Zest and the cell phone, we have a distance of 4,710 meters. And between Greenpoint and the cell phone, we have 1,586.942352 meters. Now the key to solving this question is to recognize that this signal could be in any point around that cell phone tower. So that 6,000 meters could be up here, over there, or over there. It just has to be 6,000 meters from the cell phone tower. So we can model that as a circle. And any point along the circumference of that circle, which radius is 6,000 meters and it's centered at the cell phone tower, could be a possible point for our cell phone. So for each tower, we have a circle. And where these three circles overlap or intersect, rather, that's where we'll find our cell phone. So this point here, where these three circles overlap, is where our cell phone is going to be. So that's already in the area you can see of the VNA waterfront. So it looks like Nabiha is doing some shopping at the VNA waterfront. And that would be our answer for question two if you plotted your circles accurately. But if you didn't, you could use the answer we're going to determine from question one to solve that. So let's go on to step three. Okay. And step three is going to be to set up some equations to solve this question. So you can see we have some circles, three circles in fact, and we also have the coordinates of their centers. So we can use analytical geometry to create some equations to solve this question. So for the cell phone tower centered in observatory, um, that circle there, we can model that as x minus 6250 all squared, because that's from the coordinates, plus y plus 1075 all squared, and that would be equal to the radius squared. In this case, that's 6000. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up this equation. That's going to be x squared minus 12,500x plus 6250 all squared plus y squared plus 2150y plus 1075 squared and that's going to equal 6000 squared and because I have quite a few integer terms on the left I can go ahead and simplify and take those over which is going to give me x squared minus 12,500x plus y squared plus 2,150y and that's going to give me negative 4,2,1,8,1,2,5. Now I can go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other cell phone towers. For Rania's F, I'm going to abbreviate as OR and that's going to give me x minus 900 all squared plus y plus 155 naught all squared and that's going to equal 4710 squared and I'll go ahead and expand these brackets that's going to be x squared minus 1800 x plus 900 squared plus y squared plus 3100 y plus 1550 squared and that's going to equal 4710 squared and I'll go ahead and uh, simplify this, that's going to be x squared minus 1800x plus y squared plus 3100y, and that's going to equal 18971600. Okay, and I'll do for green point, I'll abbreviate that as GP, and we can go ahead and do exactly the same thing x minus 450 all squared plus y minus 2400 all squared, and that's going to equal 1500 squared. So we'll open up these brackets as well. And that's going to give me x squared minus 900x plus 450 squared plus y squared. That's going to be minus 4800y plus 2400 all squared. And that would equal 1500 squared. If we simplify each side, we get x squared 
minus 900x plus y squared minus 4800y and that's going to equal minus 371 to 500. So I'm just going to take away the map here so we have a bit more space to work with. And as you can see now, we have three equations. But in these equations, we have quite a few x squared and y squared terms, as you can see. So it's going to be a bit difficult to solve a question with squared terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract some equations so we can get rid of these x squared and y squared terms. So first, I'm going to say we'll take the observatory equation and from that we'll subtract the Ranyazet equation. So these x squared terms you can see over here are going to cancel if we subtract those and the y squared terms will also cancel. So we get rid of these quite easily. So that's going to then give me minus 10,700x minus 950y, okay, and that's going to equal to minus 2318972.5. So this I'm going to label as equation one. This is going to be our first equation. And then for our second equation, I'm going to subtract green point from observatory, so obs minus gp, and then that's going to give me minus 11,600x plus 6950y, and that's going to equal minus 505625. And I'm going to label this equation two. So now, as you can see, we have equation one and equation two, and both of these have two unknowns, x and y. So as you know, two equations, two unknowns, it's now going to be easy for us to solve. So I'm just going to get rid of what we have here on the left so we get a bit more space. So now I'm going to take equation one here and I'm going to rewrite it and make x the subject of the formula. So I'm going to say that from equation one, we can get x equals 2318972529 minus 950y and that's going to be all over 10,700. And now what I can do is I can plug x equals all of that into equation 2 to solve for y. So we have equation 2 here that's going to be minus 11,600 into 2318972.5 minus 950y all over 10,700. Okay? And that's going to be plus 6950y, and that's going to equal to minus 505625, right? And now we can go ahead and solve for y. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply into that bracket and also get rid of the fraction at the same time. So that's going to give me minus 2514026262 plus 1029.90. 6542y plus 6950y equals minus 505625. And now I can add my y terms and simply solve for y. So now I have 7979.906542y, and that's equal to 2463437.62. And I can divide by the coefficient of y to give me a y value of 3087.083475 meters. And now to solve for x, all I have to do is take this y value and substitute it into this equation here. So where you see y here, I'll just put my 3087.083475 and punch that into my calculator. So then I'll get an answer of x is equal to 1893.177168 meters. And now we've been told to round our answers off to three decimal places. So our coordinates of the cell phone are then going to be, our x value was 1893,177, comma and our y value we found to be 3087. 0.083 meters. So those are coordinates for our cell phone. 
So that answers question one. And for question two, if you had to use your ruler and put that on the scale map, um, you'd find that the south one was in the area of the v &A waterfront, which we already established. If you drew your circles to scale with your radii from each cell phone tower, that would be the answer for question two. And like I said, for question three, the bonus question, um, my code, it's Python code. There's a link to that in the description below. So if you are interested in taking a look at how I coded the solution to this question, you can take a look at that. And my code basically allows you to solve for the location of any cell phone with any cell phone tower coordinates and any signal delays. So you just have to input that and it will give you the coordinates of the cell phone. Well done for those of you who got this question right. It was a difficult question. As you saw, you had to recognize that you had to model the signal as a circle, and there was quite a bit of complex algebra involved. And had you made one small error along the way, it would have really thrown you off your answer. So well done if you got it right. And if you didn't, I hope this explains how to get to the right answer, and you're able to solve questions like these in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.